I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. That's gunshots. And that's not like gang violence or anything like that. That's some of my fellow, uh, fellow gun members wailing off at a range about four miles down the road. It's awesome. But today we're not going to talk about guns. We're actually going to talk about knives again. One of my other passions that I really enjoy. And this is going to be a full review of the Spyderco Tenacious. Um, of course, this is a folding blade. Uh, picked this up about uh, three or four months ago for my birthday. My wife actually picked it up. She wants credit, so there you go, sweetheart. So, but uh, Spyderco Tenacious. Uh, this is a Chinese-made knife. 8 CR13 MOV steel. Great steel. You can look it up. Uh, very, very good steel for the price. Uh, this uh, knife weighs about 4.1 ounces, I believe. So really not bad. It's got uh, G10 handles, which you can see there. Uh, great grip. You know, you can look up G10 and look at all the good things about it. Flies open really nice. Uh, about 3.3 inch blade, four something inches here, seven inches total. So I mean, it's it's a really nice blade. Centering on this bad boy is perfect. Centering is great. Uh, some of my thoughts on with it. Uh, just a great EDC knife. Uh, carried it in the pocket for a long time. Really, really do enjoy it. Uh, been opening up boxes with it been uh just doing my you know kind of normal normal tasks that you would do uh the more that i carry a knife the more people actually ask me hey do you have this knife hey t carp can i borrow this for this so always having a knife on you is a good thing and this is a great knife to have um you know like i said it's it's philosophy edc knife uh it's a uh, plain blade so works out really well really easy to sharpen uh 8 CR13 MOV steel is, uh, I think, a, I think a really good all-around steel. Uh, I've had, I have another spot of code that has that CPM S30V steel. The problem I have with it is it takes so long to sharpen with it, and it it, it can get frustrating. Um, with this, doesn't take too long to sharpen, and, and it works really, really well. Um, comes with a comes with a white etching or you can get any uh, coloration of this you really want I've just got the plain black in the uh, in the steel and again it works really nice I love that white uh, that white stuff if you get a knife that uh, that doesn't have its markings on here doesn't really have what steel it is or where it's made I'm kind of iffy about it um, you want a knife comfort to be company to be proud of the steel that they put in and and Spyderco does a great job of that and there are other great companies that I love SOG uh, you know uh, Cold Steel um, Kershaw you know if I didn't name your brand there, there's several other brands that are great um, this is a liner lock so if you look here the liner comes out and locks and that's a good solid lock there's no wiggle back and forth there's nothing like that that's what you want so really nice there like i said before stainless steel liners uh it is a little bit skeletonized i don't know if you can see that there let's take a look let's see if we can get that yeah you can see a little skeletonized that cuts the weight down so that's good um you've got your hex screws you've got one two three four five six hex screws Nice lanyard hole. Sparkle does a really good job with their lanyard holes, getting them decently big and uh, and giving you you know plenty of space for it. Now your clip is regular stainless steel clip. You can uh, got three hex got uh, like I said three hex screws, uh, one big one. Your you can kind of change that whichever way you want to go, uh, you know left right, and you can do tip up or tip down. The way it comes is tip down. Again, you can switch it to tip up just however you like it. I, I kind of just leave it the way it is and I adapt, but that's just me. Um, really nice little etching there. So, uh, you know, Spyderco does a good work. You can pick these up for about 50 bucks. Um, kind of Amazon is really one of the best places to buy knives. I like buying local, but the problem is, is it's hard to find really what you want at, that's that's not really overpriced. So, and, and retailers don't make a whole lot of money off knives. 
but uh, you know, keep telling Spyderco, make these knives, go out and buy them. Uh, guys, if you're looking for a great EDC blade around the $50 range, Spyderco Tenacious is a great, great knife. T um, for me, I, you know, I, I give this a, a definitely a two thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.